Biggest part of our season is definitely a huge like team motivation, um, trying to get behind each other both in the blocks and also part of our races. Um, I think that the biggest difference from this year and also in the past few years are both the team spirit and also how we try to get the freshmen more involved, uh, sophomores too. I think like the biggest impact that we had is definitely leaving path um, a, a tradition. The captains are doing a really good job at keeping us engaged during practice. We got Kinkos and districts and the state coming up, so we really got to bring it up to the next notch and uh, get it going. Coach Lord does a good job at uh, making the practices fun and competitive at times and uh, we do like relay competitions and stuff like that and um, overall I think the team gets along really well and we enjoy practice and uh, when we need to we get our work done but uh, we also have a lot of fun. So our team's been pretty good this season, um, we've got a lot of new guys on the team which uh, for the freshmen and sophomores is a bit uh, more scary and stuff like that. But you know, the varsity boys have been really putting up. Uh, they've been supporting the, everybody else, you know, been teaching the guys. Everybody's putting in their work. Coach Laura and Coach K has been putting in all their work too. Everybody's just been doing great. The team's very supportive. We just works together. We got that, that sauce, you know, that sauce that really puts everybody together. Uh, so the boys have been doing pretty good. Um, I think as the season's gone on, it's been a lot more fun because everyone's gotten together and become better friends with each other. Uh, the coaches do a good job of giving us things to do and having sort of game days of practice. Uh, I definitely want to give a big shout out to some of our freshmen, especially Will Crew and Chris Herrig. They're doing a great job. They're really helping the team out good, uh, increasing our power and making it better. We have 19 kids that have already qualified for districts and we still have three more opportunities for more qualifiers. We have 32 athletes qualified for Kinko, which is just crazy. It's, I am certain, I haven't seen all the numbers yet, but I am certain that in all of Kinko we have the most district qualifiers and the most Kinko qualifiers. Big standout is Kyle Millis, um, who's going to swim in college D1 and he actually is very close to getting an All-American time in his 100 backstroke. Um, he has an opportunity to break the school record and he, even quite possibly the state record in the 100 backstroke, and he has five state times already in individual events. Um, and Brandon Liu, another captain and senior, is already got three individual state times and quite possibly will get a couple more before the season's over. Um, exciting um, newcomer, Blake Ueda, or returner, he's a junior, um, came back again this year for the squad, and he just got his first state time of his life um, last night. to bring 12 to 14 athletes to the state competition. We've been in the top five in state for the last either six or seven years, third place in state last year, hoping to better that. would love to bring home a state championship uh, to the Issaquah High School at some point, so um, this is our chance this year, so that's our goal. Okay,